In today's video, we'll be looking at the structure of a nephron, which is the basic functional and structural unit of a kidney. As you will know, the kidney is an organ in the body where it filters the blood and also uh, helps us make urine to get rid of any excretory products like urea uh, and expel it from our body. So here we'll be looking at the structure of it, and then later on we'll look at how it actually works. The whole journey in this case starts in this beginning bit here. Now the blood enters from the renal artery from this side, and then it enters this structure here which is called the afferent arterial. And then the blood goes into uh, the a bowl of capillaries here which is called the glomerulus. And then finally after that, uh, it will leave via the efferent arterial. Now in this particular case, uh, I've only drawn this particular part here, but imagine in reality, the efferent anterior then leaves and then it actually goes around the rest of the nephron and uh, in intertwined with all of the rest of the structures. And that's for the selective reabsorption of useful materials from the filtrate here. But we'll go into that a little bit more later on. As you can see here, there are slight differences between the afferent and the efferent material. Their lumen size is slightly different. And this creates a filtration pressure inside the glomerulus, which forces the substances out. Again, we'll talk about it more later on. So just remember that A is before E, so afferent first and then efferent later on. So after ultrafiltration, the liquid inside the uh, nephron is what we call filtrate. And then it goes into this Bowman's capsule. So it has a C-shaped structure, so think of a bow, like an arrow and bow, and cap, um, just one way to think about it. Then it goes into this proximal convoluted tubule, which is also called the first convoluted tubule. It's the one that is closest to the Bowman's capsule, the beginning of this whole journey. So proximal, meaning close to something, so close to the start. And then it enters this other structure here, and this is a massive loop, uh, which we call the loop of Henley. In this loop of Henley, lots of water and salt reabsorption occurs. So this is a nice link to uh, some of the animal adaptations. Animals that live in the uh, desert or any dry areas, for example a camel, will have a longer loop of Henley. And that's because the filtrate can travel for longer in the loop of Henley. That means more water reabsorption can actually occur. So the longer the travel time, the more water can be reabsorbed. So after the loop of Henley, it will then travel up this way and it goes to the distal convoluted tubule here. Also called the second convoluted tubule, contributes to more water and salt reabsorption depending on the situation uh, and condition of your body. Uh, distal, meaning distance, so it's further away from the start, hence the name. And finally, it will enter the collecting duct where water reabsorption can again occur depending on the state of the body. And also, finally, it will produce the urine which leaves through here. Uh, and this chapter is about homeostasis and specifically osmoregulation, and, uh, which relates to this part here. Osmo referring to water, so it's the regulation of blood water levels. And it particularly happens here because it is subject to the action of a hormone called ADH, antidiuretic hormone, um, which then controls the permeability of the wall of the collecting duct. So if we have more ADH, that means the wall becomes more permeable and that means more water can be reabsorbed, uh, rehydrating the body. So after that, the uh, substances, uh, the filtrate that leaves through here is what we call the urine. And that will contain uh, various substances like water, excess water, excess salt and urea. And there you have it. This is the structure of the nephron. Blood from the renal artery will enter via the uh, afferent arterial and then goes into the glomerulus. And then the substances can be filtered out into the Bowman's capsule. The remaining blood will go through the efferent arterial and it circulates, uh, the capillaries circulate around this entire structure to uh, do selective reabsorption. Then the substances that goes into the Bowman's capsule becomes what we call filtrate and it travels along to the proximal convoluted tubule where selective reabsorption occurs. Or start occurring. Then it goes via the loop of Henley, distal convoluted tubule, and then collecting duct, finally producing urine at the very end.